Today, we're going to be looking at a fun problem. Uh, the problem is the average distance between two points on a line of length one. And we're going to solve this problem uh, combinatorically. We could use integrals, but it's a little bit more challenging using combinatorics, but it can be done. So the approach that I'm going to use is I'm going to find the distance between two points on the line with k evenly spaced points. Then I'm going to take the limit as k goes to infinity to get our uh, line with infinitely many points. So the formulas that we'll need to do this problem are 1, the sum of consecutive numbers, uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and so on, uh, up until n, and the sum of squares up until n, which is 1 plus 4 plus 9, all the way up to n squared. I wrote out those formulas. Uh, we can always do a problem and show that those are true, but those two formulas will be very integral to helping us solve this problem. So here, I'm just doing some examples. So when I only have two points, there's only one pair of points, A, B, and the average distance between those points is just one. Then I do uh, the average distance when there's three points. There's a couple sets of points. There's A, B, A, C, and B, C. Uh, the distances are a half and a half and one. And then I get the average distance two thirds. I then go through and I do it one more time with four. So I have A, B, C, and D. Uh, and I get that a, b is a third, two thirds, three thirds. I just, I'm writing out all the distances to kind of try and get a pattern here that I can find the general distance when I have k points. So I sum up all of my distances and I divide by the total number of points, which here is 10 thirds over six, which is equal to five ninths. So now I'm gonna try and find this, figure this out for when I have k points. So I'm just gonna draw a line out and I'm going to make some observations. So the first one that I'm going to make is I'm going to make that the distance between, uh, I have a whole bunch of little chunks, and the distance between each chunk is 1 over k minus 1. As we saw in the example with four points, it was 1 third, which is 1 over 4 minus 1. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go through. So I'm going to start with my leftmost point, a1, and I'm going to do all the points between, I'm going to sum up, or I'm going to get all the distances from uh, where a1 is the leftmost point. So I'm going to have 1 over k minus 1 from a1 to a2, 2, uh, then 2 over k minus 1 from a1 to a3, and so forth, all the way until I get the whole line. And then I'm going to start at a2, and I'm going to do the same thing. Then I'm going to just keep going through until I get to the last uh, set of points, which is uh, the one right before the end point, which in this case is ak minus 1 uh, through ak, and that distance is just 1. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some grouping. Uh, so I'm going to pull out a 1 over k minus 1. So the, my top row, I had 1, 2, 3, all the way up until k minus 1, and then my next row, I had the same number of like little groups, but it went all the way until k minus 2. Then eventually I get all the way down to the last chunk, which was just the distance between the, the last point and the one right before it, which was just 1 over k minus 1. So now I'm just grouping everything together. I'm factoring out. Um, I had k minus 1 1s, then I have k minus 2 2s, k minus 3 uh, k's all the way down to k minus k minus 1 1's. So now I'm just grouping uh, everything together and I'm foiling um, out. So I'm putting all my k's together and then I'm putting, uh, when I foiled everything out I got a whole bunch of squares. So now I'm using formula 1 for the sum of my 1's, 2's, 3's all the way up to k minus 1's and then I'm using formula 2 for my 1 squared plus 2 squared plus all the way up to k minus 1 squared. So now I'm just going to simplify these down here. Um, as we can see, I'm just doing some algebra. I multiply the top and bottom by 3 to get a, a common denominator, and I'm going to factor that out. So then I have this thing here, which happens to be the sum of all my distances, but I factored out a k minus 1. So now I'm going to 
put that back in, so my k minus 1 cancels out. So my sum of all my distances is this k times k plus 1 over 6. Now the total number of pairs of points when I have k points is k choose 2, because I need two points to uh, form, or I need two points to make a, a set of points. And so now here the average distance will be my total distances divided by total number of points, which is k times k plus 1 over 6 divided by k times k minus 1 over 2. I'm just doing some simplifying, and this is k plus 1 over 3 times k minus 1. So my average distance when I have k points is k plus 1 over 3 times k minus 1, k evenly spaced points. Now I'm just checking it from the examples I did uh, earlier. So when k is 2, I get 1. Uh, when k is 3, I get 2 thirds. When k is 4, I get 5 ninths. So this formula, it seems like it's checking out. And now I'm just going to take the limit. So I'm going to do the limit as k goes to infinity of this k plus 1 over 3 times k minus 1, which happens to be a third. Thus, we can conclude that the average distance between two points on a line uh, combinatorically is one third. And uh, we can do the same problem using integrals, and we get that checks out. But I just thought it was a cool uh, problem to do uh, combinatorically. So, yeah, that's all. And uh, thanks for watching.